get it going. I want to be the greatest energy is overflowing. I know I'm stoking the fire. My desire's taking over. Uh, not tired. I'm inspired. Rewired. I know just what is required. My brain knows how to decide. So the message is looking brighter. Already paid up the pipe. But my game is getting much tighter. I feel my body on fire. Uh, now it's game time. All the practice to prepare for this main time. I could do anything. That's my baseline. Go ahead and do you. I'ma make mine. You gon' read me in the headlines Always go up, I don't know a decline On the glow up, getting better with time Yeah, I'm about to hit my prime The air is filled up with suspense We've got our dreams we must affect All right, I'm doing the shit for an entire fucking year. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I'll be honest with you, I am not ready for today's shit. <laughs> when I say ready, I mean like just the, the impact that's about to happen here. Because last week, so much shit happened. We we had our last we or correction we had our first ever draw, we crowned a new United States champion, we we had so much shit actually happen to where it, it is beyond fucking nuts on what could happen here because Electro fucking return challenging smooth, uh, oh my god, fucking Sky getting attacked. <laughs> So, so much shit has happened to where I, I don't even know how the hell we could top it. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with y'all. Um, by the way, uh, I, I'm excited to see what happens here tonight, because here's the thing. We're starting it off with a little bit of a controversy. Last week, as I said before, we were trying to do a little tournament thing with the Tag Team Championships, see who, which team will be the next team going against the Jeffries for the Tag Team Championship. But here's the crazy-ass fucking thing. It ended in a draw. So, no, we did discuss it a little bit, and we, everyone, even in chat during that day, was saying that both teams should be allowed in for the championship match, so it will be the Commissioners, the Brotherhood, and the Jeffries. Now the question is, who's going to be the fourth fucking team? That's an excellent question, and we're about to find out now, because a lot of people were asking for a Hell in a Cell tag team match again. Now. I do want to make this clear. If we do that, I'm going to be editing that match down heavily to see if it actually works. Because the idea I have is a former idea that I created on the last episode of BioWar. For the last year at BioWar. Which was the quarantine cage match. It was a normal cage match and all that. Now with eight people, you have to up the cage. Which in this case will be in a hell in a cell. Now with that said, um, I need to see if you can. If there's an option to turn off the cell. Because personally, I feel like with a quarantine match like that, it needs to stay in the cell. So, I'll see what happens there. We'll get some more feedback next week because I feel like that is the best option in this case with it. Because one, it's crazy. Two, it'd be fucking nuts. Three, it, it, that's pretty much it. It would just be fucking nuts. Um, now, it would also be cool if we could do elimination style with that. Sadly, I don't believe there is because if, when the character tries walking out of the... Rina, they'll be stuck inside the hell itself. So I don't think that will be a good option. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. I feel like first team that gets the pin in that thing would be fucking nuts as well. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But right now, we're going to see who is the next team going into that, I guess, fatal four way for the tag team championships. It's crazy how it's always a multi man for these fucking tag titles. But this week, tonight, it is actually going to be the Syndicate against Domination. Now, the Syndicate fell to retain the Tag Team Championships at Annihilation. Don't get me wrong, there was a little bit of eh with the Brotherhood to where the Brotherhood was really making them try to keep, like, you know, eyes on the back of their fucking heads, but it didn't really work. So, with that said, later, guys, tonight we're going to be seeing if they can actually correct a wrong. Because Mason wasn't happy that they didn't pick up the win, obviously. So, could this be the last chance? Could this be... Could this be possibly the final chance for the kid and Satoshi? I have no idea, but I guess we're about to see 
So up next right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Syndicate against Domination. And yes, I'm fucking up tonight because I am hella tired. I need I need my I need my grown-up juice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a qualifying match for the PXT Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, they are the team that say they run the place. They follow PXT's War General, The Syndicate. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm not leaving entirely. I'm up. Uh, get my girlfriend. Oh, shit. Hey, she even said it. <laughs> I thought it was just excited. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> I actually don't know what that means, Shane. <laughs> she even said it. <laughs> it was perfect timing, too. Oh, man, I gotta be careful with this. Hopefully it doesn't, like, explode. Don't explode on me, please. I beg of you. That's what she said, too. Ha! And their opponents, they are two big sons of bitches that have been dominating this division since the beginning of time. They are the definition of domination. Coming to Cassidy to match the wrestling of the syndicate. Oh, I mean, I don't know. That's that's more if you want to. In this case, I feel like it sort of fits with Cassidy to be like the the oddball. <laughs> it just sort of fits with him. Well, right now uh, with this whole shtick, dude. Biden and Super have dominated the tag team division numerous times. Now, with that said, though, they've held the titles. They have never been able to reclaim them. They held it at, I believe, it was. November they won it at Carnage, but sadly due to uh, Before the change of the rematch clause they did lose it the next night against the Wolfpack Well, they only held it for one damn night Now the question is can they correct that wrong by winning tonight and going on to buy a war? To I guess the fatal four-way tag team match in this case now the question is what's gonna happen here if it's another draw I have no idea <laughs> if anything free for all <laughs> we have another bond match shit maybe oh shit so she's trying to come in strong super though oh big Samoa drop him super well super was trying to keep up the edge at least satoshi was talking a little shit i don't know if satoshi was talking some shit or whatever but it stunned super there for a second wait what the fuck wait did was the gut of Super that strong to where it hurt Satoshi as well? I think it was, and it looks like Satoshi's realizing he needs to get down and dirty. Coming with big shots straight to the skull of Super. I don't know if he was trying to lift up the man. Didn't really get it. Super, though, now getting advantage again. Lifting up. Oh, god damn. With ease, I want to point out, he lifts up Satoshi, just dropping him back first onto his knee. And now Super trying to get Satoshi into the corner. Oh. Trying to get the upper hand, not getting it. Oh, super! I think this is... I think this was the downfall here. I think if anything, Satoshi should not have been involved in this match. They needed muscle in this. Even though the draw fucking... Even though the draw fucking panic at this point, yeah. Because I legit have no idea what we do. Because if anything, I think if it ends in another draw, we might have no choice but to see another bio. I mean, not bio. We might have to see a uh, bond match uh, next week. Which, that's going to be fucking nuts. Now, it'd also be interesting because technically the only team that would, if it did end it that way, 
the only team involved in that that has a win in a bond match would actually be the Syndicate. All right, now Satoshi really working the arm on Titan. Honestly, I didn't expect Satoshi to gain back control of the match that quickly, but it looks like the kid's now tagged in. Now, I believe the kid has history with Super. I don't believe the kid and Titan have actually ever gone against one another. Oh, shit. God damn. Big axe handle. A double axe handle straight to the back of the kid, dropping him. And there it is. Now is what I was talking about. Super and the kid have gone against each other numerous times. The kid, I believe, has a little bit more wins than Super does. You know, Super has gone against the kid and G7. There was a time when both those two competitors were thought to be possibly the next rising stars of PXT. Sadly, they both chose different paths. One became a champion. The other did become a champion, but just way later and only held it for a day. Well, technically a week. My bad. He was trying to go for a pin, doesn't get it, and now... Gets now paying for it. Titan just coming straight at it, breaking. Well, not break. We're almost breaking the arm of the kid. <laughs> I'm contradicting myself a lot. Oh, misses the big. Bo I don't know how Super did it. Holy shit, there it is. Big boot stumps out the kid. Uh oh. Oh, Super Power Slam. Is that another drop the kid? One. No, Satoshi saves it. Wait, will we have annihilation matches like minus the cage, kind of like mountaintop matches? We can call them annihilation matches instead of elimination chamber or mountaintop match. So are we talking about like to where it's inside the hell in a cell? That was the idea, but the thing is, I don't think they can get eliminated in hell in a cell. So I need to test that out. That's probably what I'm going to do after this show tonight, depending on what happens. Oh, shit. Oh, gets busted open. Wait, what's the kid going for? Oh, shit! Big blockbuster from the kid! Looking to pin Super here! No, Titan comes in to save it. Honestly, not a bad call from Titan, because here's the thing. As I mentioned before about domination, Super is a bit of the glass cannon of the group. If anything, Super, when it comes to elimination-based tag team offense, Super is the one to get eliminated first. Again, I don't know. It looked like Satoshi, does Satoshi has something on Super? Because that's the second time Super just stopped dead in his tracks. It looked like Satoshi said something. I just don't know what exactly was being said. Oh! Boy, hell, whatever it said. Apparently, it's throwing Super off his game. For a moment, now coming back at it. Oh. Oh, yeah, it looks like... I don't know what it said. It's actually... <laughs> Oh, affected because now for some reason Super's attacking the kid. It's tough. <laughs> ah, I don't know what happened there. Satoshi was the uh, just jiggling. <laughs> he was having fun. Oh, big gut shot. Straight to Satoshi, and now straight to the face. My God, Super coming off a little bit more aggressive than usual. I don't know if Satoshi's just talking a lot of shit or what, but I think he's playing mind games on Super right now. Not a bad call. Oh, goes under. Goes over. And Satoshi. Oh, gets caught with a big clothesline. Right now, what's Super going to go for? Super. Oh, I think was trying to get Satoshi into the corner, not getting it. No, minus the cage, elimination match, but we call them annihilation match or something like that. Well, technically, that wouldn't work anymore. <laughs> oh, shit, another big boot. Is that it for Satoshi? One, two, no. The kid saves it. Barely, but saves it. Oh, it looks like Super was trying to take out. Yeah, but it looks like Super. Are you looking to dismantle Satoshi with a super power slam? Is that it? One, two, no, oh, Satoshi kicks out, but that looked desperate. I don't know, I don't know. Satoshi now coming in, oh, dodges out of the big splash. And Satoshi come back at it, oh wait, Satoshi, oh, coming in for the 
Yakuza lock. Or are we going to see Super Tap out here? Or are we going to see Super Tap? Again, I, I don't... Is Satoshi playing mind games? I think everybody wants another tie. They want the, they want the shit to go more and controversial with the fucking <laughs> tag division. Oh, looks like Syndicate now coming in with some tag team offense. Oh my god! Yeah, I get both men props. They're able to lift up someone like Super. Super now has to roll out the kid eyeing it. So is Satoshi. Ooh! Drops reverses the shoulder tag, and right now, lifts up the kid! Oh! Drops it over the apron. Honestly, I thought we were going to see something big there. Doesn't get it. And now, one, two, no, the kid kicks out. God give props to the resiliency of the syndicate right now. Oh! Catching with a drop kick straight to the face. Is that enough? One, two, no, super kicks out. Honestly, Super needs to tag at this point. Super's been in this a lot longer than Titan. He needs to tag to get out and save himself in this match. Oh, that might be what's that might be what ends it. That's a double barrel. One, two, no. Super still can't. Oh my God, Super's defiant as ever now. Oh, a jumping clothesline. Drop Super. So we had to roll out to try to save himself. But the kid's just taking vanits. Oh, there it is. Finally tags in Titan. Titan has been fresh throughout this entire match. Oh, but no, not a lot of help, honestly. Kid catching Titan off guard before Titan can even do anything, really. It was out. I don't want to hurt my father. Inside joke. <laughs> he HW. <laughs> what do you mean? You guys are talking some spag. All right, we're not Titan. Oh wait, Titan with a Spartan super, superplex, suplex, Spartan, Spartan suplex, whatever. Oh, I think he was trying to get him up. Oh, the kid. He was trying to go to sign. Doesn't get it. Oh, wait. I believe this is... Oh, Olympus Falls! Is that it? To drop the kid? No, Satoshi there to save it. Oh. A big splash and lands it on the kid. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What's Titan going for? Titan, no. No, he's just a kid! Oh, misses the top rope elbow drop. Oh, but the kid, oh, looks, I was going to say the kid failed to capitalize, but it looks like now, oh, reversing it. Oh, beautiful fucking moonsault there. Only gets a one count off Titan, though. And we do win this. Uh, that submits your legacy as the most dominant tag team in PXT. You shoot one more count. That's actually true, though, because right now, I believe, as far as I know, this would be all the tag teams in PXT. If it ends in another draw. I know, Titan. Little day, Satoshi. Getting him to the corner. Oh, was trying to go for Titan, Titan, though. Reversing it. Titan gets Satoshi up. Oh, was trying to go for something, but Satoshi, though, being the squirmy little worm that he is. And now. Oh, comes in. With a new crime lock. Is that it? No. Oh, and it looks like Super. I don't know if he went and save it or just to say fuck it to Satoshi. Because Satoshi's been talking some smack. I don't know. I can't exactly hear what is being said. But he is talking some smack to Super. To where Super is a little bit heated in this one. Oh, god, god damn. <laughs> it hurt so hard. It, it made him fall backwards. <laughs> Satoshi have a black eye. Oh, I look like Satoshi had a black eye for a second. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god, are we actually? No way. No fucking. Okay, I was about to say. I was genuinely about to say, dude. Oh. Satoshi tags in the kid. The kid! Oh, catches! Dying off guard! 
Oh, and the, oh, okay. The kid's having too much fun, honestly. He's having too much fun. He's having way too much fun. Okay, the kid's having... Kid, you're doing too much! The kid's taunting. I think he was wanting super. I don't know why he wanted super, but I think for some reason the syndicate may have something... Some dirt on super, maybe? Uh oh, the kid... Bossy looking to drop Super out in this match, but no, Super's not done. Super's still fighting. The question is, what's Super gonna go for here? There's a tag. Now, oh, trying to just hurt the arm of the kid. Ooh, this kid in the corner. What's Titan gonna, well, I don't know what Titan's looking to do here. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, god damn. Just the brutality of it. God damn. That was some Spartan play right there. Holy shit. Is that enough to drop the kid out of this match? One, two. No, the kid's still fighting. God damn. Why in a cage? Because quarantine. Quarantine match. <laughs> Buy awards like camo type of wolf wear. Oh, big boot! Drops the kid. Super wants this. The kid has put down Super numerous times, but the kid getting out of it. Oh! I don't, if I'm correct, I don't believe the kid has ever lost to Super. I believe he has a 2-0 two, two record against Super. I could be wrong on that. Because I know Super went against the kid, and I know he went against uh, G7. G7 does have a one and one. God damn. My God. I don't know what it is that they told Super just in the middle of this match, but for some reason he's a little bit more fired up, and I'm thinking he's realizing he needs to calm down, and they want to win these opportunity for the Tag Team Championships again. Oh, I think... Titan was trying to set up for a Titanfall, not getting it. Satoshi being the clever little weasel that he is. Oh, big clothesline into the corner. Three, if you count quarantine matches, that's, uh, what? K Big Show, I say it's the first fall. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, that would be the case in this, in this one. It would have to be a first fall. Oh, I believe we're about to see Titanfall! Is that enough to drop the kid from this match? No, Satoshi comes in to save the kid. Oh. Well, it looks like Titan looking to take Satoshi out of the equation. Now Satoshi's out. Oh, the kid coming in. The kid! They're coming with a cosmic knee shot! Is that it? No! Super comes in to save the matchup. Oh, I think the kid's a little annoyed by it. Now, oh, now takes out Super. Then the kid in charge. Kid's up top. Oh, no, not going for it. But, oh, comes in with a jumping clothesline. Dropping Titan. Oh, shit. Big punch straight to the face. Oh, and a jumping DDT, dropping Titan once and for all. Oh, oh, I think the kid's gonna go for the shooting comet. Here it is, shooting comet. We haven't seen it in a while. Here it is. One, two, no! Titan kicks out. My God! Domination are showing why they are the most dominant team in PXT. Ooh, ooh, big reversal from the kid. Leave the kid a little upset that somehow Titan kicked out of the shooting comet. Toshi though. Oh, was trying to go in for the mist. Doesn't get it. Oh, but Toshi still being the finest ever. Oh my God, both men being as the finest ever. And I believe we're about to see Titan fall on Satoshi. Oh my God. One. Two! Oh! The 
The kid didn't. The kid had so much faith in Satoshi that he didn't even save him. Satoshi kicked out of the Titanfall. But now that might have been their undoing! Super Power Slam! And because of the game's physics, that's it! Domination is moving on! And I believe Mason is gonna be absolutely pissed. Oh no, that, that's some more controversy involved there now. Because the kid went in, but he didn't say Satoshi for some reason. That's some controversy. It continues. <laughs> the kid knew about the game. He knows, he knows he's in a game. <laughs> That'd be fucking nuts if they do know this shit. That'd be genuinely nuts. All right, well, there you go. That means we would have uh, Super and Titan going forward. So that means at BioWar, it will be the Brotherhood, the Commissioners, and Domination going against the Jeffries. All of those teams going at it in a quarantine match for the PXC Tag Team Championship. Holy shit. Now, normally we would do this in like a tag team thing or like a ladder thing or because the ladder one does sound interesting. AI do not make it interesting. They go straight for the fucking ladder. They go straight up and then boom. That's the reason why we're even thinking on like changing uh, bankrupt up a little bit too. So I'll see how that works uh, next year. <laughs> but right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to say congratulations to Domination. They they made, they got their spot. They got their spot back. So in other words, they might have a very well good chance because if it is in hell in a cell i want to point this out here they are technically uh undefeated in hell in a cell they went to war against the wolf pack in there to where titan practically full-on brain injured rocky and fucking mox dude so many pile drivers but with that said ladies and gentlemen it is back onto the t uh women's division actually because uh so we had two women's matches tonight. One of them was obviously for the Intercontinental Championship with Danielle. But this one is not that. No, Sky last week got brutally assaulted by both Carnell and Alexia Jimenez, her opponent at Biowar for the Women's Championship. Scarlett isn't phased by it. She's seeing it more as a sign of weakness to of Jimenez because she thinks Sky is a threat. That's the best way I can simplify it because there was a lot more. There was a lot more words, but uh, yeah. <laughs> now with that said, Sky is pretty much saying that she believes she is the best here in PXC. But there was one woman that uh, overheard that and wanted to see what Sky was made of, and that was none other than. The longest reigning women's champion, Ava Moreno. That is right. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight it is Sky Violet going one on one with Ava Moreno here on PXT. Now, I do want to give, I do want to say this though. Sky, she did pick up a win at. Annihilation. She picked up a clean win against Julia Justice last week. Now, yes, she got brutally assaulted, but to claim that she is the best in PXT. It's a little hard to say that, mainly because we haven't really seen a lot of her in action. Like, going wrong, she's, she's an exceptional striker. She's exceptional with the ropes, utilizing them in her arsenal and everything such as. But... You are overshadowing yourself past Ava Moreno, Sarah Fox, hell, even Danielle Moreno in this case. I'm going to put Danielle on this because she's the inaugural Intercontinental Women's Champion. To whereas all you did was just beat Emily. Don't get me wrong, Emily was fantastic in that match and she almost had us believing, but there was still reality that set in to where Sky was just more talented. But with that said, the claim that she's better than all these women that's held gold to where Sky has not held anything, that's a bit of a reach, in my opinion. Mr. Dash Dragon, now that I have you here for a second, why did you put your two cents during the altercations of 
words backstage. What? <laughs> it's not going on. Let's walk back, forget about the what? Yeah. There she is. The longest reigning women's champion, Ava Moreno. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. She's still a crazy bitch, but <laughs> Ava can be a crazy bitch. Why? Because she doesn't have to prove nothing to anybody. Her accolades speak more for her than anything here in PXT. She's the longest rated PXT women's champion. Literally the only reason in everyone's theory on why she lost against Jimenez was because of the brutal chair show. Oh shit, looks like Ava already. Well, as I said, Ava already coming in strong, coming in fierce against Sky. Goddamn, coming in hella fierce against Sky. Trying to tear off her arm. Now, this is the showing of a former champion right here. Ava was held dominant as a champion and is showing that even when she doesn't have the gold, she is still as dominant. If anything, and I will not lie about this, I will say that Ava is the definition of what we expect to hold the values of the women's division here in PXT. One! Only gets a one count. Sky's got to do a lot more than that to take out a former PXT women's champion. Because right now, Sky, Sky has to prove a little bit more. That she's better than Ava, that she's better than Sarah. Because the, the whole thing, man, is like... Huh. Oh, shit. Okay, and damages... The knee of Ava, and oh shit! Uh, was that a corkscrew sent on? Standing corkscrew sent on? That's actually pretty cool. Both women coming in strong there. Both missing, I want to point out. Oh, Ava was trying to come in strong. Sky catching it. And now, this is what we fear! That is what we're talking about with Ava! That's how quick she can just lock that maneuver in! You can tell that shook Sky a little bit there. Now, no, that could either be Sky trying to go to the ropes for offense, or that could have been her running away. And yes, I feel like I fucked up the word offense. Here it is. One. I don't think it's a one count. Oh, I'm getting it. Oh, and honestly, a bit of a cheap move there. That, that's, that's a little bit of a cheap move. And somehow, someway, misses the dropkick to a standing Ava Moreno. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible, but okay. Beautiful maneuver there. And oh, another beautiful, beautiful sequence there from Sky. Is it enough to drop the former women's champion? No. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it's looking desperate. Right now, it's looking really desperate of Sky going for multiple pins every single moment she gets on Ava Moreno. It doesn't look like she's confident in any of her moves actually being enough to drop Ava. That's what it's looking like, at least. Oh, and there it is! There's that roundhouse! She drops Julia Justice with it. Can she drop Ava? No, Ava still has some fight in it. Huh? Harrington, you there? Really, Wendy's, and you wanted to? Oh shit! Misses the springboard moonsault, and now Moreno looking to make a comeback here, damaging the legs of Sky. Not a bad idea, because that takes away her springboard offense. Uh oh, you do not want to be in the corner. Cause there it is. Oh, Slade's love. There it is. Is that it? One, two. No, Sky still has some fight in her. Oh God, speaking of Carlos, everyone, uh, Carlos does have actually a match here tonight because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll get into that a little bit more. Right now, though, back to this action, Ava off top. Oh, comes in with a double axe handle from the top. Sky, though, catching her. Ava, not done. Uh oh, that nigga to the old corner and oh, comes in with series. Shots there and... I think she got too she got too eager there. And we're in the small turnbuckle. Oh, catching Sky off guard. Oh, and oh, shiniest of wizards! Is that it? One, 
two. No, Sky still fighting. And right now, looking just to, again, damage the arm of Sky Violet as much as possible. Uh oh, Ava wants to test Sky. Let's see who wants it more. Sky coming in strong. I know I made Sky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's going for Ava. Like I said, Ava's a fan favorite here in PXT. Sky has a lot to prove here. To claim you're the best, you gotta do everything. My God, both women going chop the chop. At this point, they're just they're just opening the challenge here. Uh oh, uh oh! And it looks like both women just going at it. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna fall? Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my god, practically a fucking even. Stay off and oh, gets it with a springboard drop kick. Sky looking to possibly drop Moreno here with a skyfall. Is that it for Ava Moreno? No, Ava still has some fight left in her. This is what I'm talking about though. Ava is the goddamn standing for. Oh, look at this. Sky having to play a little dirty here. The pick up a win, and that's the difference I'm talking about. That's what I want to point out. That is the difference I'm talking about. They claim you're the best, but you have to resort to these type of tactics. Oh, big! Big frog splash from the top. Is that enough to drop Ava? No! I don't know why she didn't go. I don't know why she didn't go for it. Is that it? Can Ava put down Sky? And yes, she did with a rookie mistake. Ava Moreno drops Sky Violet. Guy contemplating. Oh, it's Sky! Oh, now comes in and attacks Ava from the back, and now it proceeds with a full-on assault to Ava Moreno. Oh wait, what's this? And gets it with another Skyfall. Or Cornell and Jimenez at the top of the ramp. Looks like they're just talking a lot of shit. <laughs> Honestly, though, this is what I'm talking about, though, with Sky. You can't claim to be the best thing in PXC if you can't beat the best. That, even the assault at the end, just makes you look weak. So. I mean, don't get me wrong. Right now, I don't feel a lot of confidence with Sky. It's just showing in general. Because, I mean, she comes in saying she's the best. Cannot be Ava Moreno. So what does she do? They get back at her, attack her from the back. Then your man is a Cornell just coming out. Just comes out laughing, apparently. Just at Sky's face. Because Sky hasn't picked up a win. At, well, correction, she did pick up a win against two. But against someone like Ava, if you're going to claim to be the best... We gotta beat the best. And in this case, Jimenez has beaten Ava. That's why she has the gold. Don't get me wrong, it's still controversial because Ava did get hurt before the match, but still. Ava went into the match knowing that she probably would not retain, and she still fought her heart out as best she could. And then she got proceeded to get bodied. But! <laughs> I think I think this is a lesson that Sky needs to take and not let it like build in her actual um, thing. She uh, accept the loss, learn from it, go with it. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, though it happened, uh, congratulations to Ava on picking up the win against Sky, teaching her a lesson. Speaking of lessons, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we last week we heard the return of Electrobe. Electrobe made his return at PXT, answering Smooth because Smooth has actually challenged Electrobe a couple times in the chat. I'm gonna see if I can find those real quick. Because uh, it also brings up some stuff with other characters. Well, we'll talk about that. But re but pretty much, Smooth has been challenging Electrobe. Um, Electrobe has answered, and apparently he's even given out a statement. Electro has said this. So I believe everyone was probably wondering where I've been after my match with Justin. I'll tell you all. Contemplating. 
contemplating on what happened to me at Operation, what happened at Bond, what happened against Justin, I have come to the conclusion that I was deluded in believing that I was still the best thing in PXD, the Triple Crown, everywhere I've been. If I am the best, then why don't I have the go? Why did the Triple Crown run last for only two weeks? What has been holding me back? And the answer is me. My self-delusion had me believe that I could win the championship back and be the top star once again. But now, at the bottom. I promise you all, I will rise again and be a two-time PXC champion. But right now, I have to teach someone the same lesson I had to learn. Smooth Moreno, you called me out. I don't know if your head hit the concrete that hard to forget what happened the last time me and you went toe to toe, but now, since you beat C. Jill, you think you're the toughest guy around. Let me ask you something. Who's facing Mason right now for the PXT Championship? That's the problem. You fail to capitalize on the big moments. And you had many. And don't get me wrong, hell, I fell too. Look at Bond. Only difference is, I learned to move on. You still live in the moment when you let the PXT universe down. At Biowar, I'm going to give you a lesson. Not about worlds being absolutely different. You learned that. You adapted. No. I will show you. That living in the past will always lead to failure. Who knows? Maybe your family will understand that too. Shit! <laughs> uh, now, we haven't had a direct response from Smooth, but apparently there has been some family drama going on. Um, we will get into that a little bit later. But there has been some some family drama getting him. Where, who knows, maybe... I don't know if it would distract Smooth, but I think Smooth is confident and not even giving a response in this. So, I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But, uh, speaking of which, Electro has decided to have an open challenge here tonight. Because anyone... That's wanting to make a name for themselves here in PXT once again. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. I got pulling this out. Introducing first, he is a triple crown champion everywhere he goes. And he is Forever immortal here in PXT, he is Electro! Electro, little bit still egotistical as much. I believe he's still possibly learning. But. Really, I believe just as confident as Smooth going forward in their match. Because here's the thing, I believe with Electro when he was still like trying to get back at the main title goal, you know, at Bond, hell, even at uh, against Justin trying to get into that Elimination Chamber match. Or correction, Annihilation Chamber. <laughs> My fault. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Skyfall chicken little special because the sky is falling. God damn it. I just read the chat right now. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, here it is. Honestly, if any more words we can put into this Electro's like whole ideology, how he was the most dominant, well, was the most dominant uh, PXD champion, I believe. Um, if. Mason can actually retain at Biowar, he surpasses the longest reigning PXD champion. Uh, so it really matters on what happens at Biowar. Well, that said, 
Looks like his opponent is none other than the Slayer of PXT. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is G7, the former PXT YouTube champion. Now, it is sad to say that G7 never got his rematch clause for the YouTube championship. Apparently, he does still have it. It just depends when he gets to use it. Because right now, at Bond, Cave is going for the YouTube championship. It looks like maybe G7 wants a little bit of retribution. No, no I have anything. I'm believing what G7 is looking for here is a confidence booster, if you will. Think about it. You just lost the title again. The PXT YouTube Championship. He is a two-time PXT YouTube Champion because of rematch clause, but he lost it again. Let's be for real here. But maybe picking up a win against a former PXT Champion. Possibly up and out. I don't know, but here it is. Electro G7. I believe the first time ever for these two. I don't believe their paths ever crossed. Ooh. A little bit clothesline. And now Electro. Oh, what's coming in strong with an elbow? Misses it. And G7. Oh, coming in with a shoulder. Tackle dropping Electro almost immediately. But Electro coming in with an arm drag. Dropping G7. And again, Electro claiming control. Now proceeds to attack the knee of. G7, not a bad idea, only because he's going to need his leg strength for the King Slayer. Not a bad idea from Electro, but G7 has a lot more in him, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what Electro is going to need to really worry about here. But now i got to talk about this. Oh, goddamn, catching Neckbreaker. It looks like G7 took a little bit of damage from that as well. Had to roll out. Uh oh. Now gets thrown to the corner. Looks like... I don't know what G7's going for here. Okay. Still coming back at it. Now comes in. Oh! With a disaster kick! Now one thing I will say that G7's going to have to watch out for is those talons. Those deadly damn talons from Electro. They're terrifying and they are possibly the most deadly weapons in his arsenal. Right now, Electro keeping the control of the match and gets G7 into the corner. I I don't okay. I, I don't I don't know what they're doing in that corner. Apparently they just like they just like fucking around, I guess. I, I don't know what's going on. But G7. I don't know if it's Electro just playing games. Damn, did, did Electro learn anything then? Oh shit, assisted! Alabama slam! reason I say assisted because the ropes played an assisting of that maneuver. Right now, G7. My Electro to the ropes. Oh, what's going in? For possibly a big belly to belly. Electro, though, coming in, reversing the maneuver. Oh, big gut shot. Was trying to go for more, but G7 stopping it. Oh, but Electro, my God, honestly, showing that both men have learned lessons as champions. Now, if anything can be said, I want to say Ele Goddamn, already back into the corner. Oh, I believe he was trying to go for the triple crown. Doesn't get it. Oh, I think G7 was trying to go for something big, too. Doesn't get it either. Oh, Electric Bulldog dropping G7. Oh, Electro's fired up. Electro, is he looking to go high risk? High risk. Oh, suicide dive. Want to point out that's the maneuver that knocked Smooth out for a number of weeks. It was that rush. That's the maneuver that took out Smooth and retained the championship for Electro. He's the champion of PXC himself, Electro. Honestly, at this point, yeah. Electro, hell, was the face for PXC for a while. Right now, it is Mason Dixon that's that. But holy shit, Electro, goddamn, had a very defiant type of title run. Oh, he was egotistical as fuck. Don't get me wrong. He lost every now and then, but hell. <laughs> he's, when it came to the goal, that's when he tried his best. Now, against Mason, there was no such thing. I also want to point out, is there no... I just realized something. Is there no... Uh... Oh, 
Oh, that explains a lot now. <laughs> I was about to say, how come the ref's not doing anything? Uh-oh. Um, gentlemen, I believe we might have no choice but to restart this match, actually, due to an actual bug in the game. The ref is not doing anything. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, I think we, I think we actually might have to reset the match. I'm not even lying to y'all. I, I think we actually have to reset it because I don't think the ref can be fixed. Genuinely, I, I do not think the ref can be fixed. I was wondering why there was no count out. I was like, wait, what's going on here? Oh, big gut shot. Well, I, I guess, I guess the match is just going to go on then. <laughs> I, I actually don't know if the ref will fix himself or not. But right now, I, I guess technically it's a no DQ. We, we have a broken referee. The ref is... The ref's stunned, dude. The ref is fucking stunned. I think one of them might have to hit him, sadly. I, I do generally think they, they might have to hit him. What is going on? Dude, what the fuck? Ref! Ref! Nah, he's fired. He's been drinking on the job. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know! Can we, get a, can we get a medical team for the ref? Can I control the ref? Shit, could I control the ref? I'm in crippling gambit debt, and now the house said they're gonna cripple me. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the ref's actually broken. This is a new bug, actually. I, I've never seen the ref be actually broken here. Uh, I could try something. Problem is, we're gonna have to restart the match, and that the issue with that is that it's gonna make the stream longer. Oh wait, 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 wait. could that could that fix it, maybe? Maybe, hopefully. And oh, this is the big elbow. I'm gonna call it a finisher match. Whoever can hit their finisher first wins. It's it's the it's the only thing I can do. It's generally the only thing I can do here. Electric Bulldog from Electro, because honestly, I do not want to restart this. So if anything, I guess I play the ref at this point. <laughs> Please deposit five coins to the referee. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh! Oh! Future shot! I believe that's actually a six, so that doesn't count here. So I believe that is his signature. So I don't believe that counts. Oh! Oh! Catches him with another running bulldog! What the fuck happened to the ref, man? I guess we got a finisher match, and well, it looks. I don't know if there's an actual reversal to this, so I guess we'll see. Nope. All right. Well, that. One, two, three. All right, that's it. There was a pinfall. I did it. <laughs> I was the ref. That ref is fired. If it happens, damn, that's the first time. I've never seen that. I've never seen the ref ever bug out. All right, well, I guess, I guess that one is, uh, I think that one's bu bug then. Oh, wow. All right, story fixing. Uh, after the one, two, three from yours truly, Smooth came out and brutally assaulted Electro with a fucking gut wrench suplex and then proceeded to get him up for TKO, knocking out Electro, showing that Smooth is 100% serious and ready to go. There you go. There you go. It's fixed. It's fixed in a nutshell. That's actually a first ever bug, I see. Well, now I gotta go and fix some stuff, because uh, some matches are not fixed now, so...
Okie dokie. Well, we're back in it. Uh, real quick, want to apologize for the issues that happened there. That's actually a very first time that's ever happened. No, it would be on the one year anniversary too. <laughs> That's a, that's a that's an actual PXT first. I've never seen that. That said, though, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is now time for the Women's Intercontinental Championship match. That is right. As we said before, with the Intercontinental Championship, it is going to be defended every week against random women in the women's division. And you will not believe who got chosen for tonight's uh, title defense. It was none other than the newest up and comer Nicole Hernandez so tonight ladies and gentlemen it is Nicole Hernandez going one on one against Danielle Marino for the women's intercontinental championship I believe I already said that but oh well Ladies and gentlemen, this match is set for one fall, and it is for the PXC Women's Intercontinental Championship! Now, I do also want to point out something, is this is a little bit of a Cyclone update. The next three episodes of PXC are up and ready. I just, they're going to be uploading every Monday as well. I believe the newest episode already uploaded. Next week, you guys will be getting one more episode, and then you'll get the edited version of Annihilation. I will not lie to y'all. I had no idea for the intro for Annihilation, so it's a little half-assed, but it's up and running. Now, with that said, too, um, 38 is also done as well. So, in other words, I just got to work on this one. And then I have to do a full-on cleaning of my goddamn computer. Which means, sadly, I must now delete all the episodes that we have had of PXC that are recorded besides this newest one. Um, I, I never like deleting them because I always feel sad that they get deleted but at the same time they need to be so then I can free up some space so that we can continue doing this yes I can get USB drives and stuff but they money man it costs a shit so with that said though um, it, it is going to be sad to see all those episodes uh, be deleted but hey well, they're all on YouTube man they're all on YouTube that said though Back to the ring, Nicole Hernandez coming in. Honestly, I believe she was even shocked that she got an opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship. But now the question is, can she put down someone like Daniel Marino? Now, here's the crazy thing. Smooth and Carlos went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Hell, they, they had a banger of a fucking match. Let's be honest here. With that said, though, Danielle has already made it a goal to be a dominant champion in the family there was a bit of an altercation that happened with her and her mother apparently um there's a little bit of jealousy from caitlin uh saying that she ah let's let's pull up the actual and i can get full context of what it was uh, but pretty much caitlin is i mean i'm not gonna lie i would see it as jealousy uh, pretty much uh what this is actual statements from what we got uh it, from Kaylin to Danielle, if you think that belt makes you a champ, it doesn't. And Danielle's confused, like, what the hell's the matter with you, mom? Kaylin says, I want the best for you, you know that, and I need you to know it's about how long you can keep that. You need to keep your head on a swivel at all times. Trust me, you never know whose eyes are on it. Or on you, in this case. So, I don't know, it could be... It could be... Mother and daughter embrace. Oh, introducing the challenger, Nicole Hernandez. Sorry, right, Matt, fuck up there. And her opponent, she is the PXT Women's Intercontinental Champion, Danielle Moreno. Now, with that said, ladies and gentlemen. Could we be in for a treat? Could we see a title change here tonight? Can Nicole pick up the gold and become the first ever second woman to hold that championship? Let's find out. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nicole Hernandez. Danielle Marino. 
Let's see who can pick up the win here. Here it goes. Oh, Danielle trying is coming strong. Nicole, though, being a little bit of a seasoned vet. Little bit of a seasoned vet. She has wrestled here and there. Uh, as far as I've known, because I believe I said differently last week, uh, learned a little bit more about Nicole. She has wrestled here and there, so she's a bit of a seasoned vet. This, if anything, she's more green here in PXT than anything. So it's a new uh, competition pool for her. With that said, I need to show. Oh, God damn! Beautiful fucking dropkick from Danielle! Holy shit. Yeah, no, Danielle. I mean, already showing that she's a dominant champion. And also want to point out that though Danielle's family is uh, probably wanting her to prove that she's like the top shit in the family. Here's the thing. She already succeeded. You want to know how? She retained the gold. Just want to point that out here. <laughs> though already she is a little bit more of a better champion than, well, I hate to say it, but than her father. But, but... Can she do it again? Was her first win just a fluke? Nicole is actually a perfect test on that, I feel. Mainly because... Okay, I was about to say, I swear to God, if this ref is bugged again. <laughs> I swear to God. All right, well, we are getting counts now. All right, I count it to Nicole. I want to point out that it does go like normal gold, so it does have to be uh, a pinfall. To claim the Intercontinental Championship. I think Nicole realizes that. I think she's just going in for some damage. Oh! Danielle, though, catching Nicole off guard. Now sends her to the ropes. Danielle, oh, trying to go for a belly to belly. Nicole, though, stopping it. Big series of punches. And Nicole capitalized on that. Gets Danielle on to the ropes. Comes in with a big chop and now looks to turn her attention to the leg. Not a bad idea. From Nicole. Oh, Nicole. Oh, no, never mind. Danielle reversing it. Oh, and again, Nicole. This is, the, this is what I'm talking about. This is actually a perfect test for Danielle to see if her first tile defense was nothing more. Oh. Well, right when I said that, Nicole does something green. Man, I gotta get props. Nicole coming in strong. Oh, with reversal showing there's a lot more to it than that. And now puts Danielle in submission maneuver, but Danielle. Danielle has been taught by her father, her father, former mixed martial artist, but then not just that. I mean, hell, he knows the mission gangs. In this case, you know, she knows how to get out of that with ease. Oh, Danielle. Oh, I was about saying dedication to the late great Eddie Claro. No, comes in with a double merino. That's what we're calling that. Uh oh, Danielle. Oh, shit. The Lord Hook Pile Driver to Nicole. Is that it to put Nicole out of commission? Here it is. One, two. No, Nicole still fighting. Holy shit. Huge double underhook pile driver sends Nicole crawling to the corner. Danielle just watching. I hope she's not feeling sympathy. I hope, I hope that's not what she's doing right now. Oh, wait, what's Danielle going for? Wait, what's Danielle going for? Danielle going with... Oh, my God. There it is. A Spanish fly! Suplex and avalanche Spanish fly! Oh, my God! Is that it? One! Two! No! Nicole still alive somehow, dude. Oh, my God. Danielle seems surprised, too. She's going back to the top. Calling her shot. Danielle's calling her shot. Oh! Hits her with a huge top rope forearm straight to the skull of Nicole. Oh, Nicole, there's big maneuver from Nicole. Oh, but gets caught in it. That looked like a tippy toe drop kick. I mean, it did some minor damage, but not enough to take Nicole out of commission. A big gush shot there. Oh, there it is. Nicole coming in strong now. Now, no, I do want to point out, I do not know if Nicole has held titles in her, uh, in other promotions she's been in. I believe she has. I could be wrong, though. Um, holy crap. Joey Styles. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Big maneuvers there. 
Oh, big suicide dive from Nicole. God damn, the first is dropping onto the face of the Intercontinental Women's Champion. Oh, big punch, big gut shots. And right now, Nicole coming up with a series of shots, dropping the Intercontinental Champion down, but Danielle still fighting, still going at it. I know who's not out there. Cheer on his wife, Carlos. This is very sad showing how pathetic you are. Disappointing. That's from Shane, apparently. <laughs> That was a that was a tweet just sent out from Shane Henry in the chat. Right now, oh god! Oh Danielle going back to the top. And now with the oh my god! Top row knee straight to the skull of Nicole. Nicole no oh coming in with a death press. God damn! Look at this punish Danielle. And Nicole drop. Danielle, no, Danielle getting out of danger. Now question is, is that it for Nicole? No, Nicole's still fighting her right out as well. Oh, no, doesn't get it. Oh my God, both women just fighting each other off. Oh my god, beautiful sequence from both women here for the Intercontinental Women's Championship. Oh, beautiful drop kick from Danielle. Is that enough to put Nicole out of commission? One, two, three, and Danielle successfully defends the Intercontinental Championship. Again, proving in the Marino family that she is. The most dominant champion in the family so far. Able to hold the gold in two title defenses. Hey, what the... What? Uh, just want to inform the viewers that Caitlyn Moreno is back here just watching. She Apparently she's been here the entire time. And she's just clapping. Okay. Hi. I'm gonna be honest with you. That then they didn't look like a parent supporting a daughter. That looked like she was eyeing the competition. Well, shit. Either way, congratulations to Danielle continuing to hold the PXC Intercontinental Championship. But honestly, holy shit, that was actually really cool, that last sequence, because holy fuck, dude, <laughs> neither one of them wanted to fucking give up. That shit was awesome. Because they think they were trying to do each other's fucking finishers, but they keep being like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that shit was fucking cool. That shit was fucking cool. It was awesome. I loved it. Either way, uh, congratulations, Danielle, on continuing to be the PXT Women's Intercontinental Champion. Now, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we go on uh, speaking about another man. Now, for Shane, not really realizing how come Carlos wasn't there. Carlos has been going through some shit. <laughs> He's generally been going through some shit. He's trying to fix his head, if you will. Uh, mainly because a lot of shit's been going on with him, um, with Demon Number 9, even some, like, actual... Medical records and stuff that came out, uh, actual notes here and there. And I do want to point out, if you guys want to read this stuff, you guys can come on down to the Discord server. That is right. It is in the description of this live stream or any of uh, PXD content that has came out on this channel. You guys can join the server there. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to just join, be a part of PXD, either in the actual show or just want to be in there just to like be, hey, you know, haha. I'm joking. It's mainly for like the actual people that want to be. So if you guys want to join PXT, that link is in the description. Now with that said, mm, it's Joey Styles. Oh my God. I don't know who Joey Styles is, but okay. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I want to point this out that Carlos has been through a lot of stuff, as I said before, but tonight could possibly be a big test for him. Not really the biggest test like Shane Henry, but it's a step. Carlos Hernandez is going one-on-one -on -one against none other than Onyx. Now, Onyx has stepped up. Onyx has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Justin, has earned himself title opportunities left and right, has sort of been on a bit of a win streak, to be honest with you. Because I believe, honestly, I don't remember who won between him and Franchise. In fact, I believe won. I could be wrong. 
I don't know. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, Onyx, like I said, has been rising, so I believe it would be a good test for Carlos because Carlos wants more serious competition. He wants to be taken as a serious competitor because as far as a lot of people in the locker room has been saying is that he does, he's a bit of a talker. He is. And honestly, that could be, that could be Demon Manai messing with his brain too, guys. That's why I pay it no mind. But with that said, um, it has gotten into the whole, like, retrospect that everyone thinks he hasn't done enough. And Carlos is starting to hear it, and he wants to prove everyone wrong in the locker room, saying that he can't step up and that he can't be the best here in P. So, with that said, could this be the stepping stone with Carlos Hernandez going one on one with Onyx here tonight on PXT? The only question I want to point out that's another reason why he wasn't out there for his uh, wifey's match, but it's also because I believe she even won just a one on one. Because honestly, shit, that was actually a really good fucking match. I do want to point out, it does feel like, honestly, it does feel like we haven't seen uh, Hernandez on here for a while, actually. Carlos hasn't had a one on one match here in BXT for quite a while. Ever since the whole uh, <clears throat> escapade that we don't talk about. Don't want to watch it? Good luck finding it. It's somewhere in these streams. Not in the edited versions, only in the streams. Good luck finding it. If you do. I don't know, ever since then, the call has sort of been a little bit uh, different, if you will. A little bit more consumed of being, I guess, controlled, being one with Demon Number 9. It's a little bit hard to tell. That's the retrospect I'm getting. I could be wrong. But Hunter, you can't lie. Shane's been making many points to a tw Honestly, I do feel like a lot of people are making points. I do. The thing is, I don't see it him being an ass. It's... I see it as it's a bit of Demon Number 9 and Carlos. Because they share one being. But one man that's also been a little bit uh, <laughs> about it is none other than the big, thick, baddie, Onyx himself. Onyx, the goddamn, honestly, Onyx is more fucking self-egotistical in the back than anyone else. Hell, he's been hitting on every woman. Hell, some of the women in the back have been actually wanting him. And no, I don't mean the divas. I mean the actual women that work back here. That's right. What, you thought it was a sausage fest back here? No! No, <laughs> He's been hitting on them left and right, and some of them actually want it. Some. <laughs> it, it doesn't exceed the, the the ones that don't. Team is an asshole, but you know what? That hasn't changed the fact that he is the big, thick bear. Yeah, I know what I said. <laughs> but now this could be the big test for Carlos Hernandez here against someone like Onyx. It comes in with a world around neck breaker, throwing off Onyx a little bit. Oh, oh, big clothesline. Oh, look at that. This is what I'm talking about, though. There's a little bit of dif difference with Carlos's, like, way of fighting, if you will. Oh! Oh! Round the world DDT! Even Rocky told him off. I did see that, actually. There was a little bit of an altercation with Rocky and Shane. Apparently, surprisingly, teaming up. That was a little weird. Not gonna lie to you. Oh! Oh! A foot DDT from Carlos Hernandez! Carlos already gained the upper hand against Onyx. Uh oh, is Onyx down? And now Carlos with a oh, oh a little bit, of, oh a little bit of showing right there. Right now, Onyx. Honestly, I don't know if Onyx is 100% this match. Honestly, I think he's a little dazed, mainly because he failed to pick up the gold against Justin when everyone said he practically had the match won. Oh, already bust open. Hernandez! Hernandez rolls out almost immediately after that. I don't know if it was because of fear or what, but it, oh my god! I don't know, Carlos didn't... I think he busted open. I think something might have triggered in Carlos. I don't know. It should be me! <laughs> I just see that from Drew. Drew's trying it. He gets lawsuits. Onyx tries it. A. Hey. <laughs> 
it, it's got, here's the thing, Drew. You were hitting on the wrong set. He's hitting on the ones that aren't in the actual thing. I think that's why he's succeeding. <laughs> I want to point out we're at a count of six right now. Count of seven. Are they going to bring it back in the ring? Onyx takes Carlos back in there. I don't know. It just seems like ever since he got busted open, Carlos has been a little... I don't know. Mentally fighting with himself? I don't know. He hasn't been focusing as much in the match. Here it is. Onyx goes with a pin on Hernandez. Hernandez kicks out immediately. Oh, there it is. Now, Carlos coming in strong. Oh, beautiful maneuver right there. One. What I'm talking about, though, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he pulled himself together or what, but... Ooh, misses it. This is the springboard maneuver. Onyx. Yeah, I don't know. Onyx looking a little dazed there. No, gets caught. Do a spear. Oh, big gut shot. Not done. Onyx goes under. Oh, Beautiful round the world neck breaker from Onyx. Oh, a little disrespect to Hernandez. Only gets a one count. Onyx gets him up. Uh oh. Oh, big move there. Oh, big reversal from Hernandez to Onyx. Can he capitalize from it, though? That's the question. Onyx now thrown to the outside. I think Hernandez was fighting with himself a little bit, but I believe now he's getting a little bit more control of himself. Because I don't know, with him and Demon Number 9, as far as we're seeing, apparently it's sort of like a split personality between the two. And I guess him being busted open almost had the demon out, maybe. I don't know. That's my job. <laughs> Even Drew Jeffrey's sad. He loathes Onyx because Onyx pulls more women. <laughs> We got a count five. Oh, shit. Big pedigree from Hernandez. Hernandez is going to take an outside victory. Down of eight, I believe. Oh, my God. I believe that is what's happening here. Oh, Onyx gets up. And a count nine. Can Onyx make it back in the ring? Onyx makes it back. I think Hernandez was hoping that Onyx wouldn't. Or would it continue? Oh, big miss from Hernandez. I think Hernandez was hoping that was gonna end. Oh, flatline from Onyx to Hernandez. One, two, no. Hernandez still kicks out. I'm going to challenge that bitch. <laughs> oh, honestly, outside, not outside. There's no escaping when Onyx goes to the top of the rope. God damn. Now, oh, misses it. Oh, get sauce to the corner there. Again, it looks like Hernandez is trying to take maybe the outside victory. Oh. I don't know. That was just Tonic showing that it's still Hernandez in there. What's Onyx do? Onyx. Playing mind games with Hernandez, maybe? Trying to eager him onto the outside. I don't know, actually. This is a big shot. Hernandez gets him up. Oh, big maneuver. Oh my god, big knee shot. That's down. The mountains. Oh! Big reversal! Oh my god! Who does reversal right now? A knee crusher! Coming in for a knee crusher. I'm just gonna go for it here. Oh, I think I think Onyx was trying to get him into the turnbuckle. I don't know why. Uh oh, and now here it is. A cross face. Is Onyx going to tap out here? Onyx now gets out of it. Immediately. Look a little desperate. Flat line. Drops. Onyx, is that it? One. Two. No. Hernandez kicks out. Winner proves that they pull more women. I think he still wins, though, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, Onyx. 
Oh, I think Onyx is trying to go for the suicide of Pile Driver. Doesn't get it. Now it goes under. Goes, oh, goes under again. And another! Big Spear drops Onyx down. And now, oh, big maneuver there. Big shots to the back of the arm of Onyx. Now Hernandez going in for a big old moonsault! And Onyx now rolling outside. Hernandez going to the top. I think also looking to continue the offense as much as he can. Oh, with an elbow of his own! Uh oh, he's trying to go for something big. Onyx, though, not going to allow it. Onyx coming in with a series of shots. Oh, and now drops Hernandez! Oh, oh! Senton from the apron! Got a six. What's Onyx going to do here? Onyx sending Hernandez back into the ring. Oh, wait. What the hell? Oh, wait. Oh, now it looks like Onyx is trying to play a little dirty. Oh! Yellow straight to the spine. Is that enough to put Hernandez out? One! Two! Three, yes it is! I don't know, it looks like Hernandez wasn't fully in there! It looks like Shay's taking advantage of the misstep too! And now, oh god, and what? What the? Shane, where the fuck do you get a cage? Well, Shane has a cage now, it looks! Oh, big punch! Big shot straight to the face, Hernandez taking advantage! Oh, there it is! Low blow from Shane! And now Shane's using the cage to his advantage. Oh my God, shit. <laughs> Shane knocks out Hernandez, Hernandez is out. Full on out, at the low blow and then shot straight to the cage. And Shane's just standing tall. Dang, even you could even beat Onyx. What more do you need? What more proof do you need? I think that's what he was saying, I don't know. Honestly, it was a good match. <laughs> it was a good match, though. Because, uh, there were, I don't know, there were times where I thought Carlos was actually gonna fucking, like, come out at it, but Onyx, that's what I'm saying, man. Onyx has proven that he is a good test. Because, hell, the fucking flatline... Dude, he's becoming like Randy Orton with the goddamn flatlines. Those fuckers are coming out of nowhere. And he wants fucking awesome, too. That's sort of how I wanted the flatline to be for him. <laughs> I wanted to just feel like it comes out of fucking nowhere. And that's what it's feeling like with him now, so that's actually really cool. Uh, no, he did it way before the Tonga guy. I don't know his name from WWE, but he did it way before he did. It was even it was a year before he was even a thing. <laughs> the Bionics is having success now. <laughs> he, he just had to convert to the big thick baddie instead of just being Onyx. <laughs> oh man! All right, but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, who knows? Maybe maybe that's the match. Maybe that could be the match at at Bio War. It could be Shane and Carlos Hernandez. In the cage, going at it, no escaping the cage. We see what happens. One, two, three. It's the UFC style match, submission. No, I'm joking. That'd be funny though. <laughs> All right, but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, so it has been, it has been practically a while since we have seen the likes of Venom, the YouTube champion. Of you. Um, now I want to point out something. Adrian K did lose at Annihilation, but the thing is, as we said, the loser still gets a title shot as well. So Adrian Cave is the number one contender for the YouTube Championship. That is why G7 is now getting a shot against Venom. If anything, G7's uh, rematch cloth will actually be happening at Hellfire. So G7 does have a guaranteed shot for the YouTube Championship because that will be his rematch clause being issued there. But because uh, the whole thing with Bond and the whole retrospect of it and all that, uh, he has to wait a little bit. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, Venom has not really been taking Cave seriously ever since last week. Hell, Cave went one-on-one -on -one against Mason Dixon. Mason fucking buried the man, and I mean fucking buried Cave. To where Cave, ah, 
<laughs> Probably should not be in the ring. Just saying! Uh, maybe the Blum, maybe it's not the mystic self in there. Maybe he might be actually blind. We don't know! But apparently he's challenging himself. But with that said, Cave is not been taking him seriously. So with that said, he's even practically almost open welcoming the challenge because uh, he's having an open challenge in a one on one, no DQ match. And there was only one person that actually decided to accept the call because they felt like they didn't do a lot on their debut last week. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Venom going one-on-one -on -one against Dustin Chapel. Now, I want to point out, if Chapel wins, that does not mean he's getting a YouTube title match. Gotta point that out here, because people are going to be thinking that. <laughs> There'll be a talks, maybe, but he's going to have to earn it. Being the champion doesn't mean shit. <laughs> Unless it's for the gold. And we have not seen that championship in forever. But there it is, the PXT YouTube Championship. That title was held by C. Jill, made pristine by C. Jill. But not just that. The only man to... The only other two men to hold that title was Rocky Mercado, who won it in a lot of matches at Abyss. Lost the next day against C. Joe. And G7. G7 was close to put Pristine on it, but sadly he did lose the title a couple times. Let's be honest here. In other words, the only two men to hold the gold two times has been C. Jill and G7. Now I want to point out something. At Hellfire, G7 has the opportunity to become the first ever three-time PXC champion. Or PXC YouTube champion, my bad. His movie fucked up my thing. There it is. All right, everybody, I gotta warn y'all. Be careful. There's a lot of fucking pyro. Why? I have no fucking idea. I don't even know where he got it. I didn't sign off on it. So I gotta point that shit out here. Where the fuck it's coming from, I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It feels like I've been here for hours. <laughs> yeah, today, I don't know, for some reason, today's episode does feel like it's longer. I don't know why. It does, though. <laughs> and it is Dustin Chapel. He made his debut last week trying to become the next man to hold the United States Championship. Now, he did come up short in the match. I believe he was the second man eliminated in that match. But, I mean, hell, he still made a showing, but he didn't feel like he did enough. So, he is hoping, hoping to make a showing here tonight. Possibly, who knows, maybe beat the YouTube champion. Of course, we barely see the championship. I'm most proud of making. <laughs> and then, look, it, it just so happened, Bond. <laughs> he won at Bond. <laughs> but either way, the title was still gonna be not shown for a while because of the whole shtick. <laughs> It's only it's only been like a month ish. <laughs> I don't want to let you know that Bio War is in three weeks. That's right. It will be sometime in July. I gotta look at the actual like date wise of it, but it is sometime in July. Just gotta point you out there. I love this chapel already coming in strong, but Venom coming in even stronger. Right to DDT right now. Oh my god, Venom coming in vicious. This is what I was talking about. Venom, though we didn't really see a lot of him, a lot of his repertoire, if you will, because honestly, it was enough to just get a single pin off of G7. It's, it's no doubt that he is, hell, very, very aggressive, and it does a lot of good shit. Bullshit, I know. It has actually only been a month, though. <laughs> and now Venom going to the top, looking through a whole big frog splash onto Dustin Chapel. Is that enough to get Chapel out of the match? No, Chapel's still fighting. Dude, those titles are going to be looking nice on franchise CGM. Hey, well, it's I got to see how we're going to do that, too, because I need to see what we got to do for a Hell in a Cell. 
<laughs> because uh, I, it might be a hell in a cell. It might be something else. Who knows? No. <laughs> I think I have an idea. Maybe. I gotta see how it works, though. I need to see if I can do that. If I can do that, I have an idea. And I know exactly what to call it. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it yet, because I need to see if it actually can work, can happen. Ooh! Big DDT from Venom to Dustin Chapel. Now, then I'm going to the oh! Now damn big knee dropping on Chapel. Chapel right now struggling against the YouTube champion. Honestly, now I'm not gonna say I'm not surprised because like anything disregarding Chapel, I'm not surprised because Venom is a bit of a vicious fighter. Like I said, he pinned the former YouTube champion G7 after one maneuver. Usually G7 is a fighter. He normally gets out of that, not with that ease. So that's where it's a little of a challenge right now for anyone to really go toe to toe with Venom, but Venom welcome the challenge and again it is a no DQ which means weapons are allowed and Dustin was trying to take advantage of that. Oh wait, what is, what the fuck is Venom doing? Oh my God! Was that a tornado DDT onto the apron of the fucking ring? I, I, I think, well, I'm gonna be out and uh, Medic? <laughs> oh, he's up. Never mind. My God! Venom coming in vicious. Chapel. I don't know what Chapel was going for there. Now, oh my God! Venom with an elbow. Right now, Venom. Oh God! Damn, I think I think Venom was scaring Chapel a little bit. Those fucking wide eyes of his, if you will. Uh oh, Venom coming in strong. Oh God! Damn! Huge Venom bomb. One, two. No, oh, Chapel kicks out. I mean, there is a case that works. I'll tell you after the show. All right. Well, because I ha I have an idea. <laughs> but here's the thing. I think it should still be elimination. Because I think it'd be cool. I can just call it Survivor Match. It's the Tag Team Survivor Match. Oh, that'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> what would the Bond Match be? Well, Survivor Match would be like in a K. Oh my god, what the? Did he just pop him open from the back of the skull? Ooh. Hey, Gutshot, straight back to the skull. And now, oh my god! Ain't vicious as hell right now. Gapple. Coming in strong. Actually has Venom down now. Oh, going in for the pin. Here it is. One, two. Oh, only gets a one count off Venom. Oh, there it is. Oh, now coming in for a cross face. Looking to make the champion tap out here. No, Venom gets out of it. Honestly, I want to say barely because it looks like Chapel had just locked it in. But I think he got desperate there. Oh, messes it. Oh. Big punch shot now, Chapel. Into the ropes. But Venom coming in with a big clothesline. Stopping Chapel in his tracks. Now Venom coming in with a still chair. Oh! Big chair shot in. No, hello. Uh, all right, just to let everyone know, um, Adrian Cave is in here. I would say watching, but again, the man is blind. Uh, uh, so here's the thing. Are, are you are you able to uh, are you able to see Cave? He said yes. Okay. How? He's just nodding yes. Okay. Assuming he's watching the match, but right now, Chapel looking 
to make the YouTube champion a tab. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Rope break in a no DQ match? How? All right, well, it looks like Chapel's looking to rally. One, two, three, and Chapel pins the YouTube champion. Devil pins the YouTube champion, but also want to point out, no, that does not mean he's getting a YouTube championship shot. It is going to put his name in the ringer, though, for it. And now our light, okay. I was about to say, something was weird there with the light. Is something going on? Hey, yo, something going on tonight, guys? Because, like, what the fuck? I was about to say, were you blue? But the thing was blue for a second. No, it is purple, by the way. It looks blue, but it's purple. See, now I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm actually generally guessing. <laughs> oh man, today's today's been a fucking crazy ass fucking day. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, it is actually Jin having an open challenge. No, this is not for the YouTube title. Uh, Jin just wants to have a map. Um, in general. Now, no, if people didn't watch the full thing of last week's show, I don't blame y'all. It was long, but uh, last week Jin was able to win the match and become the new United States champion. So in other words, it's time to see who could possibly be his number one contender. Do we have a number one contendership match tonight? No. Not at all. Because we might have someone, but we're debating on it. With that said though, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to see who's going to accept Jin's open challenge 1v1 me and Minecrafting. <laughs> that was just like... In character, our guy's just playing fucking gay. That would be hilarious, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, now I want I can do I do gotta say this about it about Jin. Jin is the fastest rising star in PXT. Let me explain why I say that. He is already also in the ringer of possibly becoming a triple crown champion in PXT. He's already held the TikTok Championship. He's held, he's now holds the United States Championship. Jin has the potential in him to possibly, literally possibly, be a Triple Crown. Hell, maybe he can be the first ever Grand Slam. But as far as we can tell, Jin is a goddamn prize fighter. The only thing is, can he fucking hold it? Because he did go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Satoshi, and Satoshi, well, I gotta be honest here, kicked his ass, made him tap out. Well, no, actually, one, two, three'd him. But, can we see a long title run for Satoshi? Now, no, I do want to point out, this is not a championship match. This title is going to have an actual division as well, to where it will be defended uh, monthly. He will have rivalries and everything like that. So uh, let me point that out real quick. It is not like the hardcore. It is not like the TikTok. Want to point that out to y'all. Which want to point out the TikTok championship is actually up next. Jim though, goddamn. Jen, not only an exceptional fighter, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna say this, he's an exceptional survivor when it comes to multi-man matches, because I want to point out, he's turning into something like what Anthony Morales was when I was pointing it out. Morales is exceptional multi-man, he has a higher chance of retaining. Same thing I'm gonna say is being said with Jin. But now, the retaining part is like, meh. Yeah, when I say retaining, I mean winning. But, Jin, though, already did sign that Morales couldn't do. 
Hold Gold here in PXT. Jana has already held two. And no, the man's only been with us for, goddamn, what was it? I don't know if I count April. I don't think I count April. So, March. He's only been with us for like two months. Yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, Jin has only been with us for two months, and he's already held two championships. Fastest rising star in PXC, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> I wonder if it's because the barricades. We're going to try something on next week's episode. We're going to bring back... The announce tables! Why? Because I'm thinking that might be what's fucking it up, maybe? There's a shot. I'm, I'm we're gonna try it, we're gonna see how that goes. Because I'm thinking that might be a thing. That might be fucking up some stuff, not triggering. There you go, we got we got some tests. We have some tests to run. <laughs> It looks like Zero is going to be the one to answer the call. Zero was number 10 of last week's Gauntlet Eliminator to decide who was going to be the new United States Champion. Now, don't get me wrong, he did get pinned, I believe, by Jin himself. Then it was a one-on-one -on -one between Rocky Macado and Jin for the United States Championship. Jin, though, being a little fresher than Rocky. Rocky, I believe, was 4-5 in the match. Actually, I believe he was fourth man in that match. Uh, came up short. He was already full on beaten. Zero wants to show that, oh, he's a fighting. He could earn a shot, maybe. Right now, oh, coming in with big shots, big strikes. That's what I'm talking about with Jin, though. Jin, exceptional fighter. Oh, big. Set out power bomb right there. Yeah, more work instead of playing Minecraft. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Okay, I love doing work here. It's fun when we make it fun. Oh, shit! You ain't already coming in strong! God damn! This is what I'm talking about with Jim being, like, the fastest rising star, because, god damn, his arsenal is explosive. It's surprising. It's unorthodox. But it fucking works. Now, oh, big hair, Kanana. Now proceeds to, oh shit. And now, oh shit. Big shot from Jin to Zero, Zero. No, just planning out stuff, talking about stuff is fun with me to be honest. Nah, I got you. Well, I mean, but I do gotta see about something cause I'm thinking maybe, and this might be the issue here on what's been messing stuff up recently. It might be the barricade on this side. It might be a stupid fucking reason, but there's a shot that it could be that. Reason being is because in games, dumbest fucking things are the goddamn reason. So that might be the reason why some stuff's fucking up, because even uh, last, well, I think it was two weeks ago. No, last week. Um, Venom didn't have a chair and he was just floating. And I'm thinking it's because we didn't have the barricades. So it might be a dumb thing to say, but that might be a shot to where we need the announce tables back for these things to be triggering properly. It'd be stupid, but it'd be more of a theory than anything. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to try to figure something out. Jin already fired up. Jin, oh my god, not giving Zero even a moment. Jin, I'm not gonna lie to you, has been a little bit more control in this match than Zero. Zero has gotten some offense in, but I think he's gonna get, oh my god, god damn! Look at the back of the skull of Jin hit the goddamn steel steps. Right now, thrown to the steel barricades. This is it. And now, oh goddamn, a big senton to cross the chest of Jin. Goddamn big gut shots. Zero looking to teach Jin a lesson. I think Zero feels like he should have been the. Well, I can't. I want to say first ever United States champion, but technically he's not. Oh! Misses, god damn, misses poorly, and I do mean poorly on that one. Oh, 
Shot straight to the face, onto the apron. Oh, Jan, I believe, trying to get him into the ring, and I think the, the refs just stopped. Oh my god, don't tell me it happened again. Is it the same fucking ref, too? My god, what is going on today? It is Bug Central tonight. Oh my god, I think it happened again. <laughs> I think it happened again. Oh my god, are you serious? Yep, it happened again. Awesome. It's a finisher match, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever can hit their finisher first. Oh, anniversary. Not, not, not doing good. And yeah, again, I don't have control. Oh, damn, chops. It's a girl. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the barricade. So I'm going to have to go into there and look into that because I'm thinking there's supposed to be stuff that happens and for some reason... Oh, well, there you go. That's the finisher and here it is. We got one, two, three, and that's it. That's it. Wow, a lot of bugs tonight. A lot of bugs. Holy shit. Should I just call this uh, 2K infestation? Should I just call it that in this case? This is the worst it's been. I, this has actually never happened with PXC. Well, as I said, Rocky Mercado has stolen the United States Championship. Um, Jen is asking where the hell is it at? Uh, the other rest had said that it's Rocky that has. And uh, speaking of the devil, by the way, because uh, we did say that the TikTok Championship is getting defended tonight. It is. Against none other than Rocky Mercado. In other words, Rocky has a shot to make some history tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. There is a shot. It is Rocky Mercado one on one for TikTok Championship against the dog. Now, the question is can Rocky beat the dog? Because the dog has been a goddamn menace. This match is for one fall. It is for the PXT Tick. Talk Championship. As you can tell, I'm getting pretty tired. It's it's the bugs are killing it on this case. The bugs are really killing it for me. Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. It is Rocky Mercado. Honestly, it's... God, I'm not going to lie to you. It feels like it's been a while since we've seen Rocky one-on-one -on -one here in PXC. We've seen Rocky compete in multi-man matches, either with the Wolfpack... In other words, with Box. But we actually have not really seen him compete that much one-on-one -on -one ever since, I believe it was... Operation, actually. No, wait, Mom. Yeah, because uh, Rocky and Shane went at it one more time for the Hardcore Championship. So it was not a Hardcore match, but they did go one and one against each other. Now, I also got to point out here, Rocky has a shot here to make history. And it's true. He has a shot here to make history. He could be the Triple Crown champ. Because if he wins here tonight and becomes the TikTok champion, he is technically going to be the first man to become a Triple Crown in PXT, which is being a, being a man that's held the Tag Team Gold, the YouTube Championship, and now the TikTok. But there's the thing. He's got to go against, so far, a dominating champion like the dog. We have not had a dominating champion for this title since Gen X.
And the dog silence Rocky Mercado as well. The dog so far has been a goddamn menace, and I mean that. I'm just watching this point. Like I, like I said, I'm uh, the bugs sort of killed the hype for me, especially it happening twice. Because now I'm just concerned that it's gonna happen again. <laughs> So that that's what concerns me right now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's for. The Tic Tac Championship. Introducing first the challenger. He's one half of the wolf pack and a psychotic motherfucker. It's none other than Rocky Macano! Then his opponent, he is the Tick Tock Champion, the man that somehow can fly under the radar for 16 fucking years of WWE, the Dog! It is, ladies and gentlemen, it is Dog going one on one against Rocky. Mikado. Rocky's last title match was the Hardcore Championship at Bond. And he pick up the win here and become PXC's first ever Triple Crown Champion. Here. Right now the dog already getting the upper hand and already getting the upper hand of the match tremendously. Oh God. Big sequence, already drops Rocky Mercado. Now, oh! This is the drop, and now, oh! Big shot there. Big punch straight to the face. The dog keeping advantage, keeping control of the match. And right now, oh! Drops Mercado over the top rope, and now goes for the pin. Thinking that's another drop, and Rocky out of the match. One, two, no! Rocky kicks out. Now the dog coming in with big strikes straight to the face of Rocky Macado. Oh shit! Big elbow straight to the spine. Now, oh goddamn. Let's Rocky over. Rocky has to roll out. And right now the dog, like I said, the dog is keeping control. This is what we were talking about with the dog earlier. The dog is defiant. He is well not defiant, he's a dominant. Hella dominant champion, and I mean that. Oh shit! Big maneuver there, and right now, who sends Rocky back in? And now the dog going to the top, and a big elbow straight to the spine of Rocky Mercado. On oh, the dog, looking for Bulldog. Is that it? One. Two! No! Rocky's still going! God damn. The dog is pulling out everything in this case. God damn. There is Rocky! Trying to make some type of comeback towards the dog! Oh. Oh, big clothesline. Now the dog's just full on destroying, dismantling. Rocky Mercado. Right, and now, oh, god damn, sent back first into the barricade, and Rocky now keeping back control, coming in with a big punch, and oh, big fucking suplex onto the outside, drops the dog down, again, both men missing big maneuvers there, and Rocky coming back at it, oh, big clothesline, right now, oh, 
the dog back into the ring. Rocky gonna come back at it and comes in with it. Oh, it's trying to come in with an exploder. The dog, though, being successful in avoiding danger from it. Now Rocky coming in strong against the dog. Oh, big fucking elbow. Oh, the ref. I think the ref just screwed that up there. What the hell, ref? Oh, god damn. Drops the dog. Rocky was trying to come in explosive. The man, dude, I don't know what's wrong with the referees tonight, but holy shit, they're really fucking up tonight. Oh, god damn! Big maneuver there from Rocky. Is that up to drop the dog? No, the dog. Still defiant as ever. I want to point out the dog so far is undefeated in PXC. Can Rocky Mikado put him down? Here it is. No, Rocky! I don't know what Rocky is going for, but the dog gets out of it. Dog looking at a Rocky. And here it is. Dog bin! That's it. Here it is. One, two. No, Rocky Mercado, still defiant as ever, kicks out. Dog's fired up. Dog thinking. This is it. Oh, Rocky, still defiant as ever. Not going to allow the dog to get the upper hand. Oh, it is Rose Plant. Is that it? Put the dog out of commission. One, two. No, the dog kicks out. And Rocky put down the dog. Rocky looking to rally, looking to capitalize. Big maneuver and a big bulldog. And Rocky cement himself as BXC's first ever triple crown. No, the dog reversing. Oh, big maneuver from Rocky. Not giving the dog any goddamn. Wait, what? What the dog doing? I have no idea. Rocky eyeing the dog. Rocky thinking he has him. Rocky thinking he has it. Here it is. One more. Rose plant. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, you're gonna see the dog be defeated. One, two, three. Rocky has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match and new PXT Tick Tuck Champion, Rocky McConnell! Rocky has made history here tonight and Ozzy has brought back for a little bit of hype for me by becoming the PXT's first ever Triple Crown Champion. Holy shit. No, no, not, 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 Jin's demanding his United States Championship back, but proceeds to beat the living shit out of Rocky McConnell, tainting the victory he just got right now. Jin is furious. Ro well, Rocky's just played about at this point. So Jin, Jin just fucked up on trying to get his goddamn thing back. <laughs> I don't know what Rocky did with it, but apparently the United States Championship is missing now, and Rocky just got assaulted. Uh, well, fuck, I don't know what to tell you, Jen. We ain't got to wait. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. See, Jill had finally spoken up. Finally. The Mason. Uh, we haven't heard word on Mason yet. As far as I know. But, see, Jill's words to Mason. We're, damn, damn, like a was Mason Dixon. There was a time we were comrades in war. Now I face you at bio war. I saw great things in you. Passion, dedication, and bravery. These were things I was taught by my father. He said passion, dedication, and bravery is what 
our family value most, and it will push you beyond anything. Any goal you have will be... You reminded me of my father. I respected you. Until you tried to, as you say, take out the competition. I believed me and you would have the greatest of matches of honor, but you hurt Cave, one of my new comrades in battle. I saved you in battle twice. And this is how you treat your comrades of war. At BioWar, I will not just break you. I will crush you just as my father broke every man like you. You will face the blessings and sins of my father and you will fall. Now, I want to point out something. There's something critical here. See, Jill has only saved Mason once. So, that, that's where I'm now theorizing that see, Jill has something to do with that blackout that happened at Annihilation and then laid out the entire Brotherhood. I have no idea. That, that, that's where I'm wondering now because as far as I know, see, Jill has only saved Mason once in PXT in general. Now, that gives some questions. One, how the fuck did he do that? Two, how the fuck did he do that? Three, why the fuck would he do that? <laughs> so, that's that's where, I mean, the why part is actually it. But the two, the two where it's just the one, like, how the fuck did he do that? I have no But, apparently C. Jill's just fucking mystical in general. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, C. Jill is going to be competing tonight. Because uh, he trusted that Mason would... Do a little bit more with it, but apparently not. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight it is going to be C. Jill going against, I guess you could say, an enforcer of the syndicate, an enforcer of the syndicate, which is Bill Cassidy closing off PXD tonight. Hopefully, what we have planned fucking works. If it doesn't, then, well, fucking shit. <laughs> The only reason I'm a little down tonight is just because, uh, hell, that, that was one thing that we've always said is cool about PXC. There's never problems with doing the CPU stuff. I got but now it's like, oh, 2K is just finding more ways just to not do their fucking jobs. <laughs> This is the only reason why I, I like hesitate on buying new games. I'll buy like Destiny expansions, but I hesitate on buying new games because this is what I feel like we get most of the time. I feel like we get non-polished product. Unlike back in the day where we got the full-fledged game and it worked 100% of the time. Correction, 90% of the time, because I'm remembering old days in Assassin's Creed. That shit was buggy as fuck. Under the rug, all my problems that I shove. It was still fun though. In my head, I fear that the thoughts build up into this this is just becoming a little bit of a nuisance, general. Now I have an issue knows. There he is. The white viper of Russia and the longest reigning. YouTube champion in PXT. A year ago, he went to war with another competitor that we will not name and became the first ever PXT YouTube champion. And then he proceeded to hold that championship all the way till December. The longest reigning YouTube championship reign was six months. And so far, I don't see anyone beating it anytime soon. But holy shit, C. Jill. God damn. I believe one of my favorite C. Jill matches was actually, not even gonna lie about this, was his Carnage match against uh, Desmond Flood. Them two went to absolute war with each other to where we had no choice but to get them down from top of the cage back into the ring so then they can actually settle the match. Both men were trying to kill each other practically 
And honestly, we thought Desmond had it closed. We thought, holy shit, one, two, three, new YouTube champion. No, see, Jill refused to fucking let Desmond Flunt win. And he retained the YouTube championship. Now that said, C. Jill now has his eyes for the PXT Championship. C. Jill thought it was going to be an honorable battle between him and Mason Dixon, but it looks like that is not happening here tonight, ladies and well, not happening here tonight, but not going to be happening because Mason's playing, playing a little bit dirty. Let's be honest here, playing a tiny bit dirty, trying to take out C. Jill at Annihilation. But now. The Syndicate's enforcer, if you will. Now coming in. Now, as far as I heard, I believe this might be Cassidy's last chance to prove himself worth to the Syndicate. Because here's the thing, Cassidy so far has been on a bit of a losing streak with the Syndicate. He's been trying his hardest, but it just feels like he hasn't been really been carrying his weight. He was supposed to be the big muscle of the group, but as of late, he has been falling short. And hell, I believe some of it to blame would be C. Jill. C. Jill and Cassidy, as pointed out as Shane in the chat, this is a rush rematch. C. Jill and Cassidy went toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. And somehow, some way, C. Jill picked up the win against someone like Bill Cassidy. Now, that said, was it a fluke? That's the thing. That's the thing I think is going to be answered here tonight. Was it a fluke? Can C. Jill put down Bill Cassidy again? Or can Bill prove that he has some worth to... Oh! The PXT... Or the, the Syndicate. My bad. One... Two! Thought he gets a two count on Bill Cassidy. That's what we're talking about with C. Jill. He has devastating strikes. He has devastating springboard maneuvers. C. Jill is a damn monster when it comes to striking capabilities. And not just that, even just being an absolute powerhouse in general. Right now, Cassidy. Oh, not forgetting what happened at Rush. Taking the fight to the outside. C. Jill, though. Not gonna have it. Now comes in with a patented. God damn, see, Jill's high lift knee is one of the craziest. And now an outside dive. Catches Cassidy. Oh, I think he was trying. I believe we were about to see a heel kick. But Cassidy quickly catching. Bill Accord. Oh, backstabber. In the spine. Oh, now another. Oh, misses the springboard forearm. Oh, big elbow across the chest of C. Jill. Can Cassidy pick up the win here? Can he do it? Cassidy the ropes. Oh, 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 oh. I, I don't know what. Okay. I, mystic shit going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, oh, big forearm straight to the skull of Cassidy. Oh, my God. Damaging the knee. This is what I was talking about with C. Jill. C. Jill, devastating striker. Can compete with some of the best here in PXC. And now, oh my god! Cassidy! Oh, Cassidy! Coming in with a... Oh, big timber! Big follow away slam. One, two, C. Jill kicks out. C. Jill having to roll out Cassidy. Having to pick up big explosive offense. Honestly, picking it up from... Oh, shit! Big boot stops Cassidy in his tracks. And now comes in with the big shots. Again. Frank Cassidy. Cassidy doesn't go down, though. Cassidy now looking. Oh, not about a slam on the outside! Drop C. Jill. I think Cassidy has learned from his mistakes against C. Jill. Because now he's coming in a little bit more aggressive. Okay, I believe he was trying to go for something, but Cassidy stopping him. Now getting C. Jill into the corner. And C. Jill 
Capitalize, come back at it. Or will Cassidy possibly prove everybody that what happened at Rush was nothing more than a goddamn fluke? Ooh. Damages the leg. CJ, oh my god! Big knee shot. This is what I was talking about with C. Jill. C. Jill can be fucking terrifying in the ring with his striking capability. Oh, Cassidy getting C. Jill back into the corner. And now a big splash! And now that gets C. Jill down. Thinking that's enough. Is that it to drop C. Jill? One! No! Oh my god. Only a one? Only a one. Oh no! There it is! Timber on C. Jill! That's it. That has to be C. Jill. Might be out. Cassidy might be able to prove his word to the syndicate. No! C. Jill kicks out. I think Cassidy's getting annoyed. I think he's getting a little pissed off at this point. C. Jill crawling the corner. Cassidy running away. Runs for the corner. Oh, there's the splash this time. Oh, big kick. Snap DDT. I don't know what he was going for there. C. Jill. Oh, 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 I don't know what C. Jill was going for there. Oh, big strike. Oh, big strike. I don't know what C. Jill's going to go for. Oh, big clothesline! Is that enough? A ripcord clothesline! Fucking really turning Cassidy, but now Cassidy kicks out one and now rolls out. Oh, C. Jill missing it. Cassidy taking advantage of the misstep. Cassidy getting C. Jill up. C. Jill, though, not gonna have it! And now, oh my god! The torpedo fucking drop kick from C. Jill to Cassidy. C. Jill gets Cassidy up for Father Sins. Is that enough to put Cassidy out of commission? One, two, no. Cassidy kicks out. Even C. Jill's a little stunned. Now, oh, misses. Double axe handles. Cassidy now. Oh, try and deal as much damage as possible to E. Jill hitting him face first onto the steel apron. Now, oh, another big elbow straight to the across the chest of C. Jill. Oh, Cassidy picking up C. Jill, and now, oh, oh my God! He looked like the back of his neck hit the steel steps. I don't know if C. Jill's fine at all. Honestly, I look, that looked fucking terrifying. Okay, I think C. Jill did not look good there. Timber, is that it? C. Jill might be out. One, two. No, C. Jill's still fighting somehow. Even Cassidy's confused. Cassidy's confused as well. C. Jill coming back at it. Oh, big gut shot. Another ripcord. Oh! Forearm straight across the face. I don't know what C. Jill's going for here. Moving Cassidy. Them to the ropes. Oh! Heel kick! Drops Cassidy! C. Jill. I believe misses it. Oh, see, Jill. Love of Father's blessing. Is that it? One, two, three. And Cassidy is out. See, Jill stands tall and shows. He is dominant. Oh. Well, at least this place. Mason coming out. Ace is just smiling. God damn, I didn't realize the size difference between the two, but holy shit. <laughs> God damn. 
Gil saying that that's, it's his time now. Mason is laughing at it like it's nothing. Mason rolls out of the ring. DJ is standing. Cassidy on the other side. What, what the fuck? Mason just hit a heel spear hit on Cassidy! You can see Jill's fucking... I see Jill's even like, what the fuck? I, I think that confirms Cassidy's out. With that said, this has been PXT, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all guys for watching, whether it's live recorded either or if it is, and you guys want to join PXT, I don't know what is part was. Uh, like I said, the bugs... Full on got me out of the mood. But with that said, uh, guys, if you guys want to join PXT, we do have a Discord server. It is in the actual description of this video or any of the edited versions, I believe. I have to double check on that. But any live stream version, if you guys want to join PXT, be a part of this whole shtick. Um, come on down, give us your ideas, give us your characters. We'll see what we can do with y'all. Um, right now, there's not really a limitation. We're sort of holding back from it right now. Usually, everyone's at 100% overall. If they're not, uh, we make them over 100% overall and everything like that. Um, but with that said, that's what we're trying to do because we do understand everybody wants their characters to win. So we're giving everyone an even playing field with 100 overall. And yes, we do do that with everyone. Everybody's overall to 100. Um, it's a pain in the ass, but uh, just want to say if you guys do want to join PXC, make sure your characters are like that. Or you have like one made for... We'll get into it. Point is, uh, come on down to the server. It will be great to have you guys in there because right now uh, you guys have a promo channel in there. We're going to see if we can change uh, two of the channels into something else. Uh, try to make it a little bit more fun. Maybe like meme worthy, vid worthy stuff because we do a lot of like videos in the main chat. We'll see if we can do that. For but with that said, guys, uh, this has been PXT. Peace out. Take care. You guys have a great night and we'll see you guys for next week's episode, which hopefully is less bug infested than what today was. Peace out, guys.